Well, I want to get another update out. Um, it's been quite a while since my last update on this Cornet 500. First of all, it's at the new shop. Here, you can see there's the B7 car, there's the Sunfire Roadrunner, and all that other stuff. So, we're getting adjusted into our new space pretty well. Um, and we got this in here, but before we got it here, I decided to go ahead and do some wheel and tire changes here. And there's a lot of this I really should have filmed and really should have recorded, but I just got busy and I got going on some stuff and I got excited. I was like, oh, let's do this, 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 and this, and... You know, I should have picked up a camera and actually made some content with it, but hindsight being 2020, anyways. Um, new tires up front. Well, new but old. Um, 235 6015 BF Goodrich Radial TAs. Those tires are dated 1989. So, and it's kind of funny because the last known record of this car being on the road based on what I found in the interior is 1988. So it's kind of perfect. Um, but the tires are brand new. They've just been sitting on somebody's shelf for the last 34 years or whatever. Um, I know a lot of people don't trust older tires. I get that. But these ones are basically new. They got a lot of flex. They went right onto those wheels perfectly. Those wheels are 15 by six and a half wheels. So, and then we'll go look at the backs here. The backs um, are 15 by eight Ram Charger wheels. They're off like a, a late 70s pickup. Um, they're called Ram Charger wheels. Most people call them that. And it has Nitto uh, 275 60 15 drag radials on it. And you may notice, just from if you're paying attention to the last videos, wow, this car kind of is sitting up in the back a little bit more. Those tires really did a lot. Well, the air shocks did a lot. This thing jumped about two, two, maybe upwards of three inches in the back just by airing up the air shocks. I couldn't believe it. And they've been holding for a day and a half now. So, anyways. Um... Got the interior cleaner, not really clean, but cleaner. Um, I got the shifter to work. I did actually get the car running long enough to drive it forward a few feet and drive it back a few feet, so that's all good. Uh, the brake pedal would just go straight to the floor, so I did pop the cap on the master cylinder and look. It was still wet in the master cylinder, but it was out of fluid. I put fluid in there, pumped it a couple times, the brake pedal came right back. And I drove it, got, you know, a couple miles an hour, no big deal, but just kind of hit the brakes and it slammed to a stop immediately. It didn't even hesitate at all. So, uh, needless to say, this thing just kind of wants to come back. At least that's how it's acting right now. Um, over here, there's the air cleaner that was on it unsilenced air cleaner you see them on a lot of road runners uh picked up this air cleaner today it kind of fits the look a little bit more and it already has the 444 barrel sticker on it and this is a 444 barrel it is a 1968 you see the d440 d stands for 68 um i was an idiot and i ran the hot wire from the battery to the coil which is fine to do but not fine if you don't put it on the right side of the coil. I put it on the distributor side of the coil, fried the wire to the distributor. So, yeah, that's what was left of the distributor wire. So, I got a parts distributor that I had on the shelf. And, you can see here, put a good use wire back on. And it fired right up. Um... Another thing that we did, we did put gas in the tank, and it's spitting it out by the fuel pump. I think one of those hoses are cracked. So there's things to do, but it's it's making very good progress, and it's kind of wanting to come back to life. Um, the wiring tomorrow, or within the next day or two, I will be um, doing a lot with the wiring. I have a new engine bay wiring harness that comes there and just replaces all this kind of crap here. 
it's really in okay condition, but I just don't trust it when, uh, let's see if I can zoom in there. Yeah, when a couple of those, yeah, that wire there is spliced like two or three times just in one eight inch length of wire. I just have a hard time trusting that. And in addition to that, um, after we got it running, it kind of stopped and uh, wasn't wasn't turning over anymore. So I was like, huh, I don't know what the deal is with that. So then I cleaned the battery cables. I uh, got connections a little bit better and still just wasn't, it was, it was just clicking. I could just hear the starter solenoid just clicking. So I'm going to try a fresh battery tomorrow. And if that doesn't work, I may have to change the starter. I really, 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 really don't want to change the starter. But I will do what I have to do, I suppose. But the carburetor is fine. I'm not going to screw with that right now. I might end up taking it off and rebuilding it later. But it runs and idles and gets... It goes through RPM very nice and smooth. So that's all good and checking out all right. So we'll see. We'll see how things how things go. And I'm going to be replacing this fuel line here. This fuel line that runs down to the fuel pump. I'll get a new hose there because I think that's the one that's cracked. I'll put a new filter right there to catch any junk from the tank. Um, the other thing about the tank is, first of all, it does hold fuel. Second of all, is we pulled, looked behind the license plate, and there was no gas cap. Um, some of you might think, oh, well, that's kind of concerning. Who knows what could have fallen in there. And yeah, you're right. But look at the plus side of it. If it's been sitting without a gas cap for a long, long time, there's no way any fuel sat in there for very long. It would just evaporate out. So that's actually a good sign. So we put some gas in there. And it is pulling gas up to the pump. So all good signs of health so far. Um, it is a quart low on oil. I will be wanting to do an oil change reasonably soon. Um, get some zinc additive for it. Make sure it's all good for the flat tappet cam that I pretty much guarantee is in it. Um, I did set the headlight bezels in. There's only, I think, one screw holding that one and two on that one. I got to get more screws. But looks a lot better with headlight bezels. You look kind of on this side at those wheel and tire combination. Um, another thing that's kind of cool, this, uh, of course, you can't see it with the steel wheels, but... Uh, Somebody painted the drums on this car plum crazy purple. You know, I've seen people I've seen people paint them, you know, red or yellow or orange or any number of colors, but I've never seen purple. So, that's kind of interesting. And then this mirror I will be replacing. It is a 70 style rally mirror. And what do you know, it's purple. So, that basically fell apart when I bumped into it. And we'll be trying to clean up the interior more and get this ridiculously badly peeling tint off of it and all kinds of stuff. So, we're trying to make this thing a, a runner driver um, and make it, make it to Mopars in the Park. Which, if you don't know what Mopars in the Park is, it's one of the largest car shows in the, basically is the largest Mopar car show in the Midwest, Upper Midwest area. Um, it's June 2nd, 3rd, and 4th. We will be in the swap meet. We will have several spots in the swap meet. And this car will be up there and I'll be driving it around with a for sale sign in it. So... Keep uh, keep updated as far as the pros progress on this. Um, you know, it looks like everything's coming together super good, but there's still a lot to do. I'm going to have a couple hours into that wiring harness, a couple hours into cleaning it out more. I'm probably going to have a have at least a hour, if not more, in changing that starter if that's what's bad. So 
it's going to be a lot of work, but it's going to be fun. So anyways, just want to get another video out for you guys, give you an update on the 69 Cornet 500. And I'm going to leave it there and I'll see you guys in the next one.